For this project, you need a poly rope from, rope from your hardware store, about 10 millimeter in thickness. You need a clip, you need a fit, or a replacement for a fit, which is my um, pen here, and a lighter. We are starting by unraveling from the rope around about six and a half to seven meters or however long you want your training leash in the end, minus 60 centimeters for both ends. So for example, if you want a six meter training leash, you have to unravel six meters, 60 centimeters. Or if you want a 10 meter training rope, you have to unravel 10, meters plus 60 centimeters of your rope. You take your scissors or a sharp knife and a chopping board and cut the rope in a little in a slightly angle. And then you pull out the inner of your rope for about um, 30 centimeters. And you do that uh, by peeling back the outer skin of the rope and then pulling out the um, inner reinforcement. And then when you are at about 30 centimeters, you take the scissors or your knife again and just cut it off and dispose of it. Then you go uh, back uh, to the part of the rope where the skin has been uh, bundled up and gently from the rope part towards the tip you are sliding back at the outer skin and then you have the 30 centimeters for the, uh, at, the at the top of your rope uh, where we do a sling uh, the first step is again to cut it um, to have a nice uh, edge and then uh, take the lighter and melt uh, the polycord slightly so it doesn't fray. You want also to wet your fingers and make, while it is still warm, a kind of a pointy edge there. So we can fit it in our fit or into um, our DIY fit. That would be you take a very cheap pen, one of the giveaways you get, um, and take off the top part, which normally screws off. Make sure it's a slim design. Uh, it has to be uh, not much bigger than the rope itself, so the diameter should be under 10 mil. And also keep uh, the inner uh, ink part, part of the pen. You might need it um, if uh, your rope gets stuck. So you're fretting in the rope in your DIY fit and then make a loop which has the size of um, uh, the sling that you want for your handle. And then you, without uh, dis uh, damaging uh, the fabric of the rope, you thread through the fit, make sure your rope is still in there and follows. Once from one side to the other and then you turn around, make a loop and thread it through through the other side. Leave a little bit of a gap uh, in between, like three centimeters will do. And now you have a uh, thread your rope through but this will not hold, it will still slide. So in what you have to do is you have to create a lock. And to do that, you turn your um, fit again and go through the middle, through both ropes. Just make sure, making sure that your, um, that your loop will lock in and won't get loose even if there is a strong pull on the lead. Careful, if you thread through your fit, that you are not damaging the fabric of the rope. That would weaken it. And then you can test it. 
pull as hard as you can on both ends and you will see the this knot is not going anywhere. So all we have to do now is uh, to make sure the end is tucked away nice and neatly, which is also uh, reinforcing the rope. Um, so you you um, get your, your fit part back from the top where the knot is down to the end of the rope towards the part that is filled and then slide the other end of the fit back out there so you can actually slide the outer skin of the rope over the end bit and pull it gently through. If you get stuck here, that's where um, your um, the other part of the pen comes in, uh, the, the ink part. Um, it will help you to f get the rope through. So now you can cut off the uh, piece of rope that is not needed and take the lighter again to prevent fraying of the fabric by melting it slightly down and again make a pointy edge with it so it can neatly tuck away inside of the rope. Make a test, pull it through so it sits in nicely and here is it, one side done. Now you repeat the whole procedure on the other end as well. When you have done this procedure on both ends, you have a rope of about six meter length with two ends which have both handles or loops. And through one of these, you can actually um, put your clip through and here you go. You got your training leash, it's all ready to go. One handle is for the hand and the other is where the clip attaches to the collar of your dog. Now when you finish with your training and you want to go on a walk with your dog, um, you can braid your rope by looping it, one loop through the other, and make a lovely, actually quite fashionable and practical walking leash out of it which would be half the size of um, approximately 1.4 meters if you are going with my size of the training leash which was 6.6 .6 meters you carefully loop the rope starting at the end where the clip is attached making the loops as tight as possible and working your way to the end, to the other end of the training leash, which would be the handle where you put your hand through. When you are at the end, uh, you have to do the last loop and then pull the handle through the last loop to secure it and tighten it up. And there you have it. You have a beautiful walking leash for your greyhound. Now there are other uh, possibilities you can do with this piece of rope, which is awesome. You can have it in your car already for emergencies, you, if, even if you don't have a clip. You can uh, use this uh, rope for an emergency if you have to catch a dog unexpectedly um, and, or a dog without a collar. You can make it into a slip lead. So you pull back, you take out the clip, you pull back um, about four or th three or four loops and then you are uh, pulling uh, the loose end through your sling, uh, through to a sling. 
but be careful don't use the sling on a dog if you're not experienced with that because it can hurt the dog it uh, can choke the, the greyhound or it can uh, even hurt the neck and here you have it this is your six and a half meter long training leash and ready to go uh, to be braided in just a few minutes into a beautiful walking leash that you can show off at the dog park and here's also a smaller version of it enjoy your project and let us know in the comments how it go how it went and send us some photos to our email address and we would love to see what you do thanks again for watching and have fun Bye. it's been a long long racing season Little darling, it's time to rest and find a home. Here comes the hounds, didn't you know? Here comes the hounds, and I say it's for life. Hounds for life. Hounds for life.